Last me to Bermuda. It's Mad Merlin presents Pokemon Trading Card Game Battle Academy Pikachu Deck. Hello, welcome back to another quick video. This one, I'm going to run through the cards in the Pikachu deck from the Pokemon Trading Card Game Battle Academy set. I have organised these cards to make it easier to run through. So, oops, missed one. First off, we have Raichu GX. So he evolves from Pikachu, has 210 HP is an electric Pokemon, as the attacks Thunderbolt, dealing 120 damage, and his GX attack is Spark Ball, dealing 200 damage. He has a 2 times weakness to fighting Pokemon, a 20, minus 20 resistance to Steel type, and has a retreat cost of 1 energy. When your Pokemon GX is knocked out, your opponent may take two prize cards. We have Alolan Raichu. Stage 1 evolves from Pikachu. HP is a 110, is an electric Pokemon. Has Quick Attack, dealing 10 plus damage. Flip a coin if heads the attack, does 30 more damage. And then we have Electric Surfer, dealing 70 damage. Has a 2 times weakness to fighting, a minus 20 resistance to steel, and to retreat cost of 1 star energy. It only evolves to this form in the Alolan region. According to researchers, its diet is one of the causes of its change. You get two of those. We have Pikachu next, basic Pokemon with HP of 70, an electric type, has a quick attack for 10 damage, and Electro Ball for 60. Has a 2 times weakness to fighting, a minus 20 resistance to steel, and a retreat cost of 1 energy. Its nature is to store up electricity. Forests where nests of Pikachu live are dangerous, since the trees are so often struck by lightning. For of that in the deck. Next we have Zeb Striker. Evolves from Blitzel, has a HP of 120. Has Raid, 30 plus damage. If this Pokemon evolves from Blitzel during this turn, its attack does 90 more damage. And Macbolt for 100 damage. Has a 2 times weakness to fighting, a minus 20 resistance to steal, and a retreat cost of only 1 energy. Two copies of Blitz Zeb Striker in this deck. Pitzel, basic Pokemon of with HP of 70. Has Flop for 10 damage, Zap Kick for 20, 2 times weakness to fighting, a minus 20 resistance to steal, and 1 energy to retreat. And free of that in this deck. Electrovire has HP of 40, evolves from Electabuzz. Has Thunder Punch for 60 plus damage. Flip a coin. If heads, this attack does 60 more damage. If tails, this Pokemon does 20 damage to itself. And Giga Impact for 170 damage. This Pokemon can't attack during your next turn. Ouch. Has a weakness times 2 to fighting, a resistance of minus 20 to steal, and a retreat cost of 4 energy. Two car copies of Electivire. Next we have Electabuzz with a HP of 80, a low kick for 30 damage, and Thunder for 90. This Pokemon does 30 damage to itself. Ties to weakness to fighting, minus 20 resistance to steel, and two energy retreat cost. There's three copies of that card in this deck. Tauros for 110 HP. Call for family, search your deck for a basic Pokemon and put it onto your bench, then shuffle your deck. Berserker Tackle for 60 damage. This Pokemon does 10 damage to itself. Times 2 weakness to fighting, no resistance, and a retreat cost of 1 energy. Two copies of Tauros in this deck. 
Next we have Chansey. Double edge for 80 damage. This Pokemon will do 20 damage to itself. Has 130 HP, two times weakness to fighting, no resistance, and a two energy retreat cost. Two copies of Chansey in this deck. That's my fire alarm going off. Next we have the trainer cards. Item card, Great Ball. Look at the top seven cards of your deck. You may reveal a Pokemon you find there and put it into your hand. Shuffle the other cards back into your deck. You may play as many item cards as you like during your turn before you attack. You get four copies of that in this deck. Electro Power Item. During this turn, your electric Pokemon's attacks do 30 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. Play before applying weakness and resistance. Trainer. Item. Switch. Switch your active Pokemon with one of your benched Pokemon. Two copies of that card in this deck. Trainer. Item. Potion. Heal 30 damage from one of your active Pokemon. Two copies in this deck. Trainer. Supporter. Cynthia. Shuffle your hand into your deck, then draw six cards. You may only play one supporter card during your turn before your attack. Three copies of Cynthia. Trainer. Supporter. How? Draw three cards. You may only play one supporter card during your turn before you attack. Yet four copies of How. Trainer. Supporter. Bug Catcher. Draw two cards. Then flip a coin. If heads, draw two more cards. You may only play one supporter card during your turn before you attack. Four copies of Bug Catcher. Then, Pokemon Fan Club, Trainer, Supporter, search your deck for up to two basic Pokemon, reveal them, and put them into your hand. Then, shuffle your deck. You may only play one Supporter card during your turn before you attack. Finally, you get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 Electric Energies. So... Let's have a quick flick through the trainer guide for this deck. So, use this for the Pikachu deck. You are a Pokemon trainer. You and your opponent will face off in a Pokemon battle to try and knock out each other's Pokemons by attacking with your own Pokemon. The first player to knock out four of their opponent's Pokemon wins the game. The two booklets will guide you and your opponent through your first game of the Pokemon trading card game. Each player takes one of the booklets and the cards that go with it. Just match up the picture on the cover of the booklet with the one on the card box. You can view tutorials at pokemon.com slash battle academy. What's you and need for this tutorial? The two player game board, two tutorial guides, Charizard deck and Pikachu deck, one coin and damage counters. Each box of cards makes up a deck that is designed to be played in a specific order. The cards in a deck are numbered in the lower right to show you the order they should be in a deck. With the cards face down, card 1 goes on top of the deck, then 2 and so on. The numbers let you reset the deck if you have any problems, and then you can start again from the beginning of this guide. So again, this is the cards we've just been through in the order that they should be placed for the training games. Setting up to play. Put your deck into the spot labeled deck on the game board. Do not shuffle the deck. Step 2. Draw the top 7 cards of your deck. This card, These cards become your hand. 3. Play Blitzel from your hand on the spot labeled active spot on the game board. You may only play a basic Pokemon in this way. You will see the word basic on the upper left corner of a card featuring a basic Pokemon. 4. Put the top 4 cards from your deck face down in the spots labeled prize cards on the left side of the game board. It doesn't matter which spot you put each card in. After both players have finished setting up, play can begin. Your opponent will go first. Remember, you win by knocking out four of your opponent's Pokemon. A, a pictorial guide of how to start. Now, taking the first turn. 
Once your opponent has finished, it's time to take your first turn. At the beginning of your turn, draw the top card of your deck and add it to your hand. It's a lightning energy card. Take a energy card from your hand and attach it to, or put underneath, Blitzel, just like your opponent did. Energy allows your Pokemon to use their attacks, but you can only attach one energy du card during your turn. To use a Pokemon's attack, you must have enough energy attached to it. Because you have one lightning energy attached to Blitzel, you can use its first attack. To use a second attack, you would need two energy. One of them must be a lightning energy, but the star symbol tells you that any the other energy can be any type. The number to the right of the attack name tells you how much damage it does to your Pokemon in your opponent's active spot. Tell your opponent you're attacking with Flop, then take one of the damage cancels that has 10 on it and put it on your character's, your opponent's Charmander in the active spot. Once Note that using the attack does not use up the energy. You don't have to discard it or otherwise remove it. It stays to the Pokemon and keeps the keeps powering its attacks. Attacking is the last thing you can do during a turn, so it is now your opponent's turn. They should turn to page 7 of their own booklet. Again, pictorial of how you go through your first turn. Your second turn. Draw a card from top of your deck. It's Howl. Play the trainer card Howl. When you play a trainer card, follow the instructions on it and put it into the spot labelled discard pile on your game board. Hal says to draw three cards. So draw three cards on top of your deck and add them to your hand. You have drawn Tauros, Pikachu and Zeb Striker. Hal is a supporter card, which is a special type of trainer card. You can only play one supporter card during a turn. Put Pikachu face up on one of your spaces on your bench. You can only play basic Pokemon onto these spaces and you can only have up to five Pokemon here. Attach an energy card to Blitzel. It now has two energy and can use its Zap Kick attack. Tell your opponent you're attacking a Zap Kick. This does 20 damage to Charmander in your opponent's active spot. Put two damage counters on Charmander. It is now your opponent's turn. They should turn to page 9 in their booklet. Uh, that's how the game board should look at the end of that turn. Your third turn. 1. Draw a card. It's a lightning energy card. Attach a lightning energy card to the Pikachu on your bench. You can attach an energy card to any of your Pokemon in play. Blitzel has a lot of damage counters on it. Better retreat it so it doesn't get knocked out. Once during a turn, you may retreat your active Pokemon and switch it with one Pokemon on your bench. To do so, you must remove energy cards from your active Pokemon and put them in the discard pile. Discard one energy card attached to your Pokemon for each star symbol on the lower right corner of this card. If you don't see any star symbols, it means that Pokemon can retreat without discarding energy. Discard one energy from Blitzel and switch Blitzel with Pikachu. Pikachu is now in the active spot. Use Pikachu's quick attack to do 10 damage to Charmander. It's now your opponent's turn. They should turn to page 11. How the game board looks at the end of the third turn. Your fourth turn. Your Pokemon was knocked out. Oh dear. Your opponent did 80 damage to Pikachu with an attack. Pikachu has 70 HP, so if it has 70 or more total damage on it, it's knocked out. When your Pokemon is knocked out, put it and all attached cards into your discard pile and move one Pokemon from your bench to the active spot. Your opponent will take one of their prize cards. Now it's your turn. Draw a card and start your turn. You have finished a guided portion of the game. Continue playing until one player has knocked out four of their opponent's Pokemon and has taken all of their prizes. What's next? After you finish your guided game, you can reset the decks by putting them back in order, with card 1 on the top of the deck, 2 and 3 and so on. Then follow the steps and set up the game and play again, but this time you decide what you want to do each turn. Or you can take the next step and shuffle your decks before you set up, so you get a different, different cards and have a different choice of each time you play. Once you feel comfortable playing this way, Check out the advanced rulebook and the psychic type Mewtwo deck. What can you do during a turn? Draw a card. You must do this at the beginning of every turn. Put a basic Pokemon onto your bench, as many as you want. Attach one energy to one Pokemon, only once per turn. Retreat your active Pokemon, once per turn. Evolve a Pokemon, as many as you want. Play trainer cards, as many as you want, but only one supporter card per turn. And attack with your active Pokemon. If you cannot attack, tell your opponent your turn is over. So there we have it. 
a quick rundown of the Pikachu deck from the Pokemon Trading Card Game Battle Academy deck box set. I will do the Charmander, uh, Charizard deck next, and then followed by the Mewtwo deck, and a quick flick through the advanced rules. Thank you for watching. I'm Merlin. I'm mad about painting. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more videos in the future. Thank you very much. Goodbye.